here. We are the students of Thyagaraja College of Engineering from the Mechatronics Department. Steve Winston, Suganthan and Sandhir Kumran, we are the students who have prepared the PPT of single phase half wave control rectifier. We are going to ex simply explain uh, what is a single phase half wave circuit. It is nothing but is only which produces a one pulse of load current during one cycle of the source voltage. Now we are going to see what is inside. From basic we are going to start with the thyristor. Here the phase controlled rectifiers. Uh, uh, before this thyristor was inverted we have choose the only the ideal switches which will uh, gives the varied current and various pulse and we can't control the uh, current which we are giving to it. So after the inversion of this thyristor, we can control uh, what we are we gonna give. So uh, this this will be easy in our circuits to give the pulses at the time period equal time period which we want. Many industrial applications may make use of this controlled DC power. Uh, steel rolling mills, paper mills, printing presses, textile mills, etc. These are the industries which are using this uh, this uh, simple basic thyristors or the only a small instruments which will give the pulse to the working of these machines. Now we are gonna see the working of the SCR in phase control rectifiers. SCR is nothing but the silicon control rectifiers. Silicon control rectifiers can conduct only when the anode voltage is positive and the gating signal is supplied. So uh, from this positive voltage we are gonna see uh, what is that positive voltage. This is nothing but the positive and negative voltage which we are talking about. So uh, this is a thyristor. Uh, now we are going to see this, some explanations. So as we uh, shown the thyristor, so thyristor blocks the flow of the current I/O until it is triggered. Triggering is an option uh, which the thyristor switches tend to open. That is the pulse we are giving. Thyristor is turned off as the AC supply voltage is reversed by as it is provided. Anode current has fallen to the level below the holding current. Now uh, we are going to see what is the holding current. Here I can explain from this uh, simple diagram. This is the thyristor and this is the pulse we are, which we are going to see. This is the external switch and this is the positive connection and negative connection. So from the positive connection uh, the current must be uh, at some uh, current must be flown. It's nothing not the current. This is the input current through the thyristor. It must be flown from like this. Uh, from the input current must be like in this direction. And the pulsing uh, pulse mode will be here. So we are giving the pulse from here. Holding current is nothing but if we have triggered this uh, pulse to the thyristor. But the current which uh, in input current which is flowing is, is very low so it can't uh, open the switch and the current is, will, will not be passed through it this is explained as the holding current that is uh, even if we trigger the current will not pass because of this input current will be low so holding current we have seen in that simple diagram in industry of application we can uh, an incoming SCR is turned on by triggering uh, that was I say that a uh, trickling option it is immediately reversed by us outgoing SCR and turns it off so uh, that is that will be reversed by us it will be connected with another uh, thyristor so from this uh, when this output of this triggered pulse will go to the another thyristor it will it will not uh, it will not pass the current so uh, that's what I explained in the holding current so when it not passing that is uh, worked as a stop switch in the industries here we are gonna see some explanations assumption in study of this theory system this is not a uh, uh, well gonna do this uh, SCR system and diodes are assumed as ideal switches that's what I say before the thyristors there is no voltage drop across them uh, there will be no voltage drop uh, no reverse current exists uh, as there is a uh, known current will not be reversed and holding current is zero the holding current uh, that's what I explained this is the general uh, definition of this holding current holding current may be defined as the minimum value of anode current below which it might be fall through the turning off of the thyristor the anode current is nothing but this anode current is nothing but this positive voltage current uh, sorry positive current this the, this input current is known as this uh, anode uh, anode current anode input sorry yeah we have entered the uh, loads we are gonna add the uh, loads to the circuits here single phase half wave control rectifier with our load we are connecting with our load the source voltage is Vs, the uh, source voltage is called as Vs that will be equal to the Vm sin omega t. Thyristor blocks the flow of the load current IO until it is triggered. So uh, I, I trigger, thyristor will be acting as a switch that what I say. When, from when the trigger, trigger option is uh, 
pressed the thyristor will open and the current will not be blocked and the current will be flow this will form in the uh, waves of the phase current half wave control rectifier so at some delay angle alpha uh, de uh, delay angle is used here so uh, as an alpha positive gate signal supplied between the gate and cathode turns on the scr at instant of the delay angle alpha v naught rises from the 0 to vm sin omega uh, where alpha is also called as the firing angle firing angle is nothing but i'll show in the uh, i'll show in that wave fire angle then this this is nothing but the firing angle of the period i will explain but uh, here the to explain that the firing angle is start from here on uh, the scr load current flows until the turn off by reversing voltage at omega 2 we can uh, pi 3 pi and uh, extra 2 pi yeah, there which the wave will be passed the angle of the load current was zero as soon as the supply of the reverse biases the scr the device is therefore turned off by, by varying the firing angle, the phase relationship of the start load current and the supply voltage can be controlled. The circuit shown in the next slide, I, uh, I have shown that the uh, circuit current that will be shown as the single phase half wave rectifier with the R load. These are the uh, mentions of the angle and everything. You can go through this. I will explain uh, shortly about what is the wave, what is the wave is going on. So uh, we are gonna see the wave diagram for for the uh, R load yeah here the this is the wave diagram of the half control rectifier of R, with the R load so here we are gonna see this is the circuit diagram this is simple thyristor and this is the load which we are adding in this uh, this is R load this is that thing but the R load is resistor so we are gonna how the uh, we're gonna see how the wave is produced this is a uh, normal sign as I said this is thyristor and this R load now you know see what is the what are the waves this is the simple sine wave which is passing through it we can we can mention the names from the angle 0 pi 2 pi and 3 pi that's uh, that last from the omega t and uh, this is uh, this is the input to input and we're gonna see what is the v output and the current output etc vt is nothing but the voltage drop across the load that is uh, i will explain later from now we're gonna see this is called uh, as i said this is the firing angle before we are now we are giving the alpha value we are just triggering the uh, triggering the alpha value from some alpha value so we gonna trigger and the thyristor will be start uh, start flowing the current from this is the sudden increase of the current uh, which is flowing through it. this is the fluctuations of the uh, sine wave from here see the where the thyristors are become to on this is the voltage output so uh, from this period the there will not be any uh, ca thyristor current open so from here it, it, it will be started so uh, uh, there will be a sudden passage of the current so the wave will be increased from here then the sine wave continues and at this time uh, there will be no current or uh, there will be zero current so there will be a drop in this uh, there will be no voltage uh, sorry uh, there is there will be zero in voltage so there there will be zero continuing until the next alpha of the next alpha value this will be gone for the next uh, two pi values two pi and four pi values next we're gonna see the current output current output is nothing but here based upon the voltage current also uh, do, does the same thing so as the same wave which is considered in the voltage output input uh, current output is also uh, gonna same with the voltage output so there is there is a uh, same wave forms for the voltage output and the input vol output voltage current this is nothing but the voltage drop across the resistor this is drawn for the voltage drop which will be acting on this uh, resistance that will be load will load will react for the current resistance so when the value is value will be rippled sorry ripple not rippled during the negative cycle this positive and negative values will be interchanged so there will be some passage of this current uh, through this load the load will have to uh, load will some produce some current during that so it, due to that storage the, there will be a formation of the wave in this then there will be a continuation of the wave of this uh, uh, of this uh, sigma as like the voltage so yeah we have finished the half wave control rectifier with the R load now we are going with the RL load RL load is nothing but uh, we are just adding the extra load that is L is inductance now I will show you
as we see as a uh, as in r load we have used only the resistor in rl load we are just using a inductor which will be combined in series with r so rl load uh, we are having this rl load so we gonna see what is the rl load is making due to this half half wave control these are the theory uh, you can go through this what we have explained about the rl load i'll just explain what is what will be difference from the r load and rl load now you're gonna see the wave diagram you can just pass and uh, go through this theory now yeah i thought uh, you will be pass and see the theory and note some theory uh, now you are going to see uh, what is what the, what this rl r and rl role will be going to do here the waveform is uh, simple as what will be explained in the input it will be in a sine wave and now we going to see what will th what this do in v output voltage output this will be same as what the alpha value the firing angle is also same as uh, r r load the difference is here here we can see the difference of the RL. this is due to this uh, inductance load inductance is nothing but it will store the current which will be passing through it so uh, due to this inductance when the wave is started passing through this we can see now you know see the r load wait yeah this is r load you can see uh, in this value that when there is no l load uh, inductance there will be no storage and the the voltage drop will be zero in this period that pi to 2 pi period now we're gonna see the what is rl load will be differentiated from this now you can see the difference from the r load so this is nothing but the reverse biased reverse biased period which which the stored the energy from the inductance which is happening in here this is nothing but the uh, sine wave which is passing through it which uh, the current uh, which which is uh, stored from the inductance so nothing but this will be come until the stored current presence and it will go to suddenly go to zero when the induced current is uh, induced current is empty or uh, induced current will be end so this uh, this will be continued from as per the normal conditions so this uh, this voltage drop will be in zero and the next time period it will go up and the process is uh, continued till Uh, as in R load, there will be same as the uh, voltage output. Here, the current output will be gradually increasing, as not like in the R loads, because uh, there will be a combine combine of the inductance. The R uh, the current will be in a graduation flow increase. Then the voltage drop is coming and the uh, gradual increase. This will be processed uh, for the every pi value. This voltage drop across the index, uh, uh, this R L load. is same as the r load the nothing but this uh, inductance value will be added as uh, in the r load this is nothing but uh, what we have seen the what you have seen in the r load just uh, th what the r load is completed now we're going to go for the r l e load the basic thing things you must know about the r l e load the theory i'll read it uh, you just note it single phase half wave control rectifier with r l e load the emf e is uh, load may be due to the battery or dc motor this uh, e that is e is nothing but the uh, e is nothing but battery i will show in the circuit uh, e is the load may be applied due to the battery or a uh, dc motor the minimum value of the firing angle is applied from the relation vm sin omega t is equal to e minimum angle i'll, I'll tell what is the minimum value of the firing angle Uh, now we can see what is the theory in case of the thyristor t is fired at the angle that is below the minimum angle the scr will be reversed by s and therefore there will not be turn on the minimum uh, minimum firing angle is nothing but the i'll say that this is the firing angle minimum firing angle is nothing but uh, you can't uh, keep the firing angle more than here so minimum firing angle if you give the minimum firing angle the thyristor will not pass the current that was i say that the minimum firing angle similarly as the minimum firing angle there will be also the maximum firing angle of the theta that is equal to pi minus uh, theta 1 as minimum firing angle you can also not uh, fix the maximum firing angle so if you fix the maximum firing angle at the end only the thyristor will be on so there will be no passage of the current so that's what the minimum and the maximum will be in the extern Yeah, I would say uh, I would tell the basic things, and these are the theories we can go through it. What is then? This is the formula for the Vm sine omega t. Yeah, we are going for the wave diagram, and here I added extra uh, load that is C, that is a battery, R L E load that is resistance, inductance, and the battery source. 
so we are going we have added a three added three loads so what we gonna see what what is the waveform will be created this is the input as uh, as the sine wave is created as input and the firing pulses firing pulses uh, the firing angle is fixed from here the theta 1 and theta 2 theta 1 theta 2 is nothing but this is the minimum firing angle and this is the maximum firing angle so you can't fire uh, fix the firing angle below than this so you can turn the thyristor on the this theta 1 theta 2 you can uh, be, uh, debug from the theory which is which is uh, gone from the before page the firing angle um, uh, firing angle inputs are marked here so for the pi 2 pi and 3 pi and 4 pi values now we're gonna see what is the voltage output here we see voltage output this is nothing but nothing but the combination of r and l load you can see difference in here this is a e uh, e difference here so i'm gonna explain what is this now we can start this is the firing angle sudden firing angle so the wave is passing through like this and due to the inductance value as i tell in the rl load due to this induction value uh, there will be a due to this induction discharge there will be a flow of a uh, wave like this and uh, it will attain the zero point so in rl load the zero point will be continued from like this and the, uh, until the next alpha value and there will be a hike like this in this uh, due to this e load there will be a due to this e domination there will be a power source will be exist here so there will until the next alpha value or the next firing angle there will be not uh, continued as a zero so uh, due to this power source the e there is a hike in this wave so due to this is uh, current uh, but that is e load e domination so this is continued until the next alpha value so the next uh, process is also continued like this the, then the inductance value then the e, e hike will be like this and the next process is continued uh, when coming to the current output there is also a gradual increase in the gradual increase in the current so uh, this is also considered as uh, like the RL load yeah we have finally complete all the RL e RL and E loads and the combination of RL and LE loads so now we gonna use your brain and how you are going to do all the problems which we have given I will give some questions to you. Yeah, you can see the question. Uh, a single phase transformer with a secondary voltage of 230 volt, 550 hertz, delivers a power load to R10 omega through a half wave control rectifier circuit. For a firing angle delay of 60 degree, determine the re rectification efficiency form factor, voltage ripple factor, transformer utilization factor, and the PIV of the resistor. Here is the solution of the problem which I have told. Uh, you can go through this solution. Now you are going to move for the move to the second question. This is the second question. A DC battery is charged through a resistor. Do they have an expression for the average value of charging current in terms of Vm, uh, etc. Assumption that a SCR is fi fired continuously. For an uh, AC source voltage of 230 volt, 50 hertz. Find the value of the average charging current from uh, R is equal to 8 ohm, E is equal to 150 volt. Uh, find the power supply of the battery and dissipate it in this resistor. I have solved the problem. This is the solution of the problem. I think you should uh, produce a waveform after finding the solution of this. I will show the waveform. This is, uh, these are the problems I have uh, solution, problem and solution I have conducted. Uh, these are the solution and the values have been finally found out using these formulas. The final waveform we should be drawn. I will show the waveform now. This is the waveform which is created after finding all the solution of the answer. Now I am going to tell you a twist what I am doing now. I think I have told you uh, two questions and the answers of the solution. Uh, you can solve it uh, by seeing the question. If you have any doubts on the problem we have explained, leave a comment below. And we will give you the further more explanations in our next video about the problems and subscribe for the future more presentations. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching our video. And Sindhil is signing out. Tata.